What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to do a how-to video on how to rebuild a K-Series synchro tranny. Got the case right here. I'm gonna install the main shaft seal. You notice one side is flat and then the other side you can see the back of it. So when you install it, this side goes, the flat side goes down. I'll have to tap that in. Then there's gonna be this piece right here goes underneath the counter shaft bearing. Then the counter shaft bearing gets pressed in there. And then this, once this is sealed, is pushed all the way down, then you press this bearing in here. All right, now that I have the bearings in, I'm gonna install the main shaft, put a little bit of oil. Then there's gonna be two shims. And this is a spring one. All right, so we're gonna have third gear, which is gonna be the smallest gear out of the gears that I have. Third gear goes on, and there's a needle bearing. oil needle bearing third gear grab the synchro this is a dual cone synchro stuck together. There we go. Open the synchro. You'll see this is a carbon synchro. You can see there's like a carbon lining. Normally if it was brass it would just be this color on the inside. Take some oil. Install the middle. more oil on this. Let's get it in, should look like that, it should be pretty flush. Next we're gonna take the synchro spring, put it on. You see these three notches, they line up with, there's three holes in the gear. The next will be the 3-4 hub. The 3-4 hub and the 5-6 hub look pretty similar, but if you notice, the 3-4 hub will have this, whereas the 5th and 6th gear one, it doesn't have this. So that's a good way to tell them apart. So put a little oil in here. Put a little oil in here. Sometimes these slide on, sometimes they don't. This is an aftermarket gear set, so it might be a little harder. Make sure the gear spins. So next there's gonna be the three four sleeve, which does look similar to the five six, but again, you'll see this one has the notch in there so that way it can't slide past this whereas this one doesn't have it so that's how you know this is three four also another way to tell if it's a five three four five speed or a three four six speed is the six speed i don't know if you guys can see this but it has like these these whatever these are wherever the synchro pieces are but they're taller than the sleeve itself whereas on a five speed one it kind of it's like sits flush with the top of it. 
and if you put a five speed one and a six speed, I think you'll have problems because I have a, seen a trainer like that before where it pops out a four speed. A little more oil in here. This is going to be the fourth gear synchro. Add some oil. Synchro spring. Line this groove up. Mm -hmm. You had it wrong, it would look, you know, like that. See, that's the sit. Clutch down the groove. And the next is going to be the fourth gear. Same thing, line up these three pieces with in here. Two more roller bearings with the spacer. Then there's going to be another roller bearing. This is going to go under fifth gear. So fifth gear is, fifth gear is right here. So I don't know if you can tell, fifth gear looks a little different. It doesn't have the three holes, it has just a taper. This is a single cone synchro, which is this one. See, it's not, not a dual cone, it's just a regular one piece, but still carbon. Synchro spring. Then we have the 5.6 hub. You notice it doesn't have the piece like the 3.4. Spin, which they do, good sign. Next will be the five six sleeve. I think this goes on either way because it looks identical. But there is it's gonna be hard to tell, but there's gonna be two of them that are taller than the rest, and in here there's a spot for two of them because otherwise you wouldn't be able to fit it on. So something like 
on this. Another dual cone synchro for six gear. Five speed tranny is similar to this, but it wouldn't, it would have a synchro, but it would have like a, a spacer instead of actually having the next gear. Synchro spring. Line up these grooves. Next, six gear. Spacer. Another needle bearing. Six gear. And there's going to be top main shaft bearing. And that's how it makes sure everything spins free. Shift it. All right, that's how you assemble the main shaft.